Hey, good day everyone. It's a beautiful warm afternoon here in Australia. And we've decided we're gonna go to the river. We're gonna go to the river. Yeah, so it's a beautiful spring afternoon in Australia. The sun's shining and we've decided to go to the river. So I'm gonna dig up a couple of worms out the garden and we'll throw a fishing line in while we're there. Are you gonna use a ladle to dig? A ladle? No, I think I'll use a shovel instead of a ladle. Uh, just in case anyone doesn't know what a ladle is, a ladle is a really big spoon <laughs> used in um, pots to get out your beans or your stew or your cooking. Anyway, I'm not using a ladle, I'm using a shovel. Um, the laundry hose runs into the garden here so it's usually kept reasonably moist. What it is is when it's dry the worms go deeper, so if it's moist the worms will come up closer to the surface or the top. So hopefully we can find a couple of nice fat worms and we'll go fishing with them. Let's go to the garden. Diggity dig dig. I've got a bucket, a shovel and a garden. Just break the dirt open a bit. And if they're in there, you'll see them kicking and jumping around. A molly grub. Um, they're, they're called all different things. Molly grub or a lawn grub. I think it's the grub that turns into a lawn beetle. Um, they go underground and they're a grub like this for ages and then they turn into a beetle. They come up and fly away as a beetle. Some people also call them witchetty grubs, but they're not. Witchetty grubs are much bigger. That's a molly grub. For me, this is all part of it. Instead of just instead of just buying bait from the shop, or um, you can buy worms from the gas stations and a couple of places around town. But I'd prefer to dig up my own. That's half the fun. Getting your own worms to start with. Plus, it doesn't cost anything. Nobody likes me, everybody hates me. Think I'll go eat worms. Short ones, fat ones, long ones, skinny ones. Think I'll go eat worms. Nobody likes me, everybody hates me. Think I'll go eat worms. Alright, gotta catch all these worms now. One, two, Three, four. Uh, there's another molly grub. Another two worms. That's what I was hoping to find. Oh, look at that one. That's a big one. Will you let yeah, me? because that one was nice and close to where the hose runs out. Will you let me put worms on your face? Worms on my face? For a picture. Yeah, I'm not scared of worms. <laughs> Get you to lie down and I'll take put all, tip all the worms on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, look at this fat one. Woohoo! Nice worms. Another one? Nice worms, mate. There's something you don't hear every day. Oh, geez, you've got nice worms, mate. There you go. Here they are. Oh, no, you dropped him. This is an awesome shovel full, this one. Must have got about ten worms out of this lot. That might even do us. I don't plan on fishing for too long. Just want to... There's another one. I just want to... Throw the fishing line in for a little bit while we're there. See if anything jumps on the hook. Okay, worms in the garden, what is it good for? <laughs> Absolutely nothing! <laughs> worms! <laughs> what they any good for? No, worms are really good in your garden. They, um, basically the dirt goes in one end of the worm, its mouth, and comes out the other end. 
and that's called worm castings which is pretty much worm poo so the dirt goes in one end and out the other end and comes out with all nutrients softens it up uh, makes it better for things to grow in and the tiny little tunnels they leave also aerates the soil yeah worms are just a really good thing to have in your garden so if you've got worms in your garden it's a nice healthy garden okay that might do us for today we've got a few worms in there throw a little bit of dirt in so they don't dry out because if they dry out they'll die so you've got to put a little bit of that moist dirt in there too keep them moist and that'll do us till we get to the river Here we are, just pulled up at the river. Looks beautiful. Can't wait to get out and show you. But I don't know. Comes from up there near the mountains, the river. Down here. That's the big bridge we just drove over a couple of minutes ago. little toilet block just there and picnic table here The boys are gone just up the river a little bit exploring. We gave them the camera to take with them, so hopefully they bring us back some footage. Alright, while they're doing that, I'm going to get some tackle on this fishing line and um, get a line in the water, see if we can get any bites. Hi, I'm Farron and that's Fisher. We're at the beautiful river and we're taking a walk from over there where my parents are to the squishy mud. Literally, I think so much. Are you thinking? No, not really. Oh. There's sticks and everything. We've never been this far since the water's so low. But there's heaps of trees and swallows over here. If you don't know what a swallow is, it's a bird. And we've got a few videos about it. Isn't that right, Fisher? Yep. Yeah. So make sure to check them out. Okay, we're going to head back now, so... What? We've got to walk through the squishy mud again. Come on, Fisher. Got to walk through the squishy mud. Run through it. Run through the squishy mud. <laughs> no. Oh. I am stuck. Stuck. Literally stuck. Are you stuck? No. Come show us your feet. Oh. Oh. Here, pass me the camera. Quickly, <laughs> pass me the camera. For your information, that's more than half my leg. So, here's the vlogging from Fisher. Okay, Farron's a little stuck at the oh moment. Oh my god. Hope he doesn't get out. Oh no, he got out. Here you go, take it back. So, that is more than half my leg. <laughs> I just ran through it. And Fisher's <laughs> is a quarter. What a shame. He had to wash this off now.
Okay, we're walking back now. Thankfully, there is no more squishy mud. <laughs> Just thankfully. <laughs> Look at your feet, you mud monsters. There's not squishy mud up there. I was literally like, okay, we're gonna try running through the mud. So, and I sunk and got stuck, so he had to grab it. Look at your legs. Well, I have to get wet now. Nice socks, Fisher. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> hey, I threw that little bit of bread there to see if I could attract any guppies or little fish. See if, have a look in the water and see if there's any around it. Yeah, yeah. Where the bread's floating in the water. The, the furthest one out. Watch that crocodile in the water. I got it! <laughs> <laughs> <There's>, um... <laughs> Threading the hook through the end of the worm. Just sliding it straight up through the centre of the worm up the shaft. Oop, it broke. That's alright because it's a nice long worm, there's plenty of him. Just thread him up there a bit, poke it through again, and then do the same again. This is a nice long shaft hook. And then I'll lead, lead the end of that worm so it can wriggle around a bit. So I've got worm all the way up the shaft, around the barbs, and then just before the end of the hook, you've got a little bit of movement there. Okay, just flip your guard over on your reel, hold it there with your finger. When I get it to the peak of its arc, I'll let those fingers off and it can just unravel. So I just flick it straight overhead and point it towards where I want and let those fingers go. And flip your guard back over and it's ready to reel. Pelican coming in. Pelicans often hang around if there's someone fishing because sometimes they get fed any leftover bait or if you catch a little fish that you don't want to take home, sometimes they'll just feed it to the pelicans. So the pelicans know if there's fishermen around, there's a chance they'll get a feed so they hang around. Do you just get pelicans all over the world? Do you know Colette? I don't know. Can you guys let me know if you get pelicans in America? They what, won't have. I assume you, you get pelicans all over the world, surely. Hey, haven't caught anything yet, but that's all right. Just having a beautiful time, just relaxing, sitting here at the river. The boys are up there playing in the mud. Colette's been laying on a towel on the bank, and the pelicans are just cruising around us. So it's a beautiful afternoon. I might still catch a fish yet. There you go. Oh, nice. Your turn, fish. Yeah, get closer. <laughs> What 
Well done, Fisher. That was a good one. Thanks very much for joining us at the river. Hope you enjoyed the sights. Remember, take time for the simple joys and we'll see you next time. Bye.